when, when people save water, um, can people save water without sacrificing on, on what they're used to, what, what their common lives are used to being? Can they save and, and not sacrifice? Yeah, they definitely can. And I think, I think we should start here with just acknowledging that some people are already doing everything they can to save water. Um, they've installed highly efficient plumbing fixtures in their bathrooms. They're using water-saving appliances like dishwashers and washing machines. Um, and they're being as frugal as they can in their use of water, including in their gardens and in their outdoor landscaping. And they deserve a lot of credit. And so in some places or with some communities, it may be difficult to, to get an extra incre increment of water conservation. But most cities are finding that their citizens um, could save a lot of water on average if they put their hearts and their minds to it. We know that the average water use per person varies considerably even across America's cities. There's some places where people are using less than 100 gallons per person per day and other places where it's well over 300 gallons per person per day. So there is a lot of opportunity in many of these places to save. And ironically, some of those places where we have the highest levels of water use are also the places where these, there's the least amount of water and where our water sources are being really severely strained. So a um, lot of opportunities there. I do want to put in a plug for um, a program called Water Sense that's, uh, that's sponsored by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. It's a great source of information about, about programs, products, and various water, water saving practices that all of us can apply in our homes and our businesses. And very easy to find that on the internet. Um, just look for Water Sense or, uh, with EPA. I'm always, cons I'm always encouraging everybody to be as conservative with their water use as they can, and I don't think it takes big sacrifices. Um, instead, it just requires that we're, for us to be creative, to look for places in our home or our business where we may be using more water than we need to. We might even be wasting water. We may have dripping uh, toilets or faucets and that sort of thing. And also pay particular attention to the water use out in the yard. Um, if you're not careful with your outdoor water use, you can erase all the benefits that you're, that you're putting into place inside your home. That's a good point about uh, water sense because from a, from a toilet perspective, uh, water sense does have minimum performance criteria that manufacturers have to pass in order to be listed with, on water sense as a legitimate toilet for replacement. And just yes. from personal experience, you know, I've, I've replaced a three and a half gallon toilet, that's with the old water guzzling toilets, with a 1.28 toilet. And, you know, the first month that I put it in, I noticed that my water bill was about $20 less than the previous average month. So it does work. And you sure aren't does. going to sac sacrifice on performance. So sure does. great point about water sense. Uh, Brian, well, and also, and also I wanted to mention that, you know, like you, I've been trying, I have you know, was proud of the fact that I had 1.6 gallon toilets in my own home. And then I came to, to realize that, um, they've gotten even better um, in recent years, and it's down to 1.28, and the performance has gone way up. So it's a good, you know, it's really a motivation to, to try to upgrade when I can. Yeah, and, and people should be aware that little things such as replacing a toilet in a shower head to new water sense toilets and shower heads can pay for itself in about a year. Uh, so great. not only do you upgrade, upgrade the look and the performance, it pays for itself. Uh, yes. So very, very good points about that. 